بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوریون That is Arabic for Peace be with you all I am Imran and today we have an iPad Air that says no power so let's go ahead and open it up and see why it is no power so I have already taken off the glass and found some of the screws missing from the screen and of course from the connector plate as well or shield if you want to call it so we have solo tape here holding our home button down not the button, uh, the flex, home button flex. Let's get that off. Why am I leaving it there? We don't need it. Okay, so that's in the bin. Let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. Although it is already dead which is why I removed the screen off of it without disconnecting the battery but we're not sure that it is actually dead so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna supply it power to try and turn it on well look at this here let me show you under the microscope Look at the situation of the charging port. Well, huh. I don't understand. I mean, how hard can it be for you to replace the whole charging flex rather than just tinkering around? And I mean, I think this probably took more time. And it's, look at that, that's all the, that's, it's just coming off by just touching it. Ah, okay, so let's just make sure that none of them are joined together. Nope. It is not. Alright, so one thing is for sure we need to replace the charging flex. But before we go ahead and do that, let's just lift it up a little bit. I'm just sitting the back so the adhesive will come off easily and then I'm gonna hook it up to the power supply and see if 
the motherboard has any sign of life. Okay. So we have our motherboard lifted up. There we go. Let's turn on the power supply. Power supply is on. Let's get our crocodile clips. <laughs> crocodile. So there goes the negative. And the positive, we need to be very careful when connecting it because we do not we do want to connect to the pin that we cannot see <laughs> on the back connector that connector over here and uh, we also need to keep the positive power away from that metal shield because th that metal shield is grounded so okay looks like we are good to go so let's supply power okay so there is no short to the motherboard i'm gonna go ahead and press the power button okay so we have power all right so this thing is booting up which means that it is not actually dead but it is just not charged so one thing we're going to do is before we go ahead and take apart the motherboard and get it ready for charging port replacement we're going to connect the screen and then we're gonna supply it power again and we're gonna try and turn it on now to make sure that we have the display And there we go, Apple logo. So we have Apple sign, okay. So that damn thing is turning on. Okay, so I'm gonna power it off. Disconnect the screen. And we're going to take the motherboard out. So we have missing screws here. Look at that. Those screws are not supposed to be there. Okay. Hopefully we do not have to replace the whole chassis because those two screws that I just showed you <coughs> excuse me they are holding the actual charging port to the chassis so that when you plug the charging in it doesn't move so I'll show you the structure in a minute let me just get that board out so that it'll be easier for me to explain how that those two screws are holding the charging board down. Time to disconnect the connectors.
So here. As you can see, the charging port is out and that metal piece is out as well. So what happens is that metal piece goes on like that on that charging port and then that screw and that screw they hold them two pieces together and these two screws they actually hold the charging port to the chassis and they look damaged So we'll come back to them later. Let's go ahead and replace our charging port first. So we'll start with some leaded low melting point solder. I'm not going to use heat gun to remove the charging port. This is all we are going to use. Soldering iron and the low melting point leaded solder. As you can see, came off pretty easily. Tin the balls or pads in this case. That's done. Remove the old glue. <coughs> New charging port. So whenever I replace the charging port, what I like to do is I like to tin the pads on the charging port as well and not just on the motherboard. This gives me a peace of mind that every joint is perfect. Okay, so there we go, that's done.
Okay, so we have aligned the charging port. It's time to solder it on. So both sides a few pin first so that we don't have to hold it with one of our fingers. And now I'm gonna apply pressure. Sorry, we we'll need a little bit of flux. So the flux is on. And now we're gonna apply pressure using the tweezer on the sides and soldering up just like that. Okay, same here on that side. There we go. We have our charging boat attached. Clean up the tweezers. Clean up the charge boat. Nice and shiny. Now let's go ahead and test it. See if it is working or not. So I'm gonna plug in the charger. I'm sorry you guys can't see the multimeter. Sorry, not the multimeter, the USB meter. So it is showing me that it is working fine on both sides. Okay, so that's a good thing. Now comes the hard part. So before we go ahead and put the board back in, we need to sort something out that thing so this one has broken pins so we're going to take out the screws the screws are out we can put it back in but i don't think it'll stay because of the broken seals yeah ain't gonna stick okay so what we have to do now is we have to find something that will stay on top of this that edge and won't go in there Alright, so after wasting 20 minutes I have found two screws that will hold it down. Now, before I go ahead and fix it, let me just show you what I meant that we'll have to replace the chassis. So you see this one has that half off, you can see this arc here in there this one here so it is only half other half is gone now over here it's complete so this one used to look like this as well but since this is broken and there is no way we can fix the chassis because that portion is in the chassis this one 
this is what we're going to do now. So let's put the screw back in there. Remove them two screws. Put them here so that we don't lose them. Because it already took me half hour to find out. Now the charging, this metal piece, it has this this glue in here. So we're going to clean that up and then we're going to use silicone glue in place of it. So silicone glue will go here like that. should be enough. Now we're going to take it Okay, so this should do the trick. I'm going to let the silicone glue dry and then I'm going to come back and put the motherboard back in. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and check the voltages on the battery and the battery voltages are zero 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 so we're going to give a little boost to the battery to see if it works if it don't then we'll probably have to replace the battery as well Take the cables.
and we have charging. Can't show you the amp meter, but it is showing me 1.6 amp, which is good. Which means that we have now a working charging port. <laughs> so let's wait for it to do top. And then from there we'll go ahead. And as you guys can see, it just turned on. I can't show you the screen. Well, maybe I can. Just a tiny bit from the side here. Three percent and charging. How you do? So this is it for today, and I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you in the next one.